So one of the biggest questions that I get from my audience and my clients and my customers is how can we spy on our competition, right? How can we go and see the ads that they're running, the type of videos that the headlines they're using because there's a very good reason to want to do this. If you are going out there and spending your money on advertising and you're testing out the waters, that can potentially be a big waste of money. What if we could just go and find the best performing ads from our top competitors and people that we already know are producing profitable returns that would make our marketing so much easier, right? Well, there is actually a way to do it and I've been utilizing it for the past few years and it's been very, very profitable for me. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can spy on your competition and basically just swipe their best performing ads. I don't know any more of the words. All right, let's get this show on the road. So firstly, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is John Pemothy. I help entrepreneurs and business owners get more customers and acquire them profitably online. And I'm excited that you're here to learn some stuff. If you want to check out the rest of my channel, go ahead and do that. I've got a ton of videos on here that I think you will like. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate that. So in today's video, as I mentioned in the intro, I want to talk about uh, spying on people's ads. Like we, we all know that one of the fastest ways to grow uh, the sales of our products and generate more customers and more clients online is paid advertising, right? You've really got two ways to go out there and market your business. You can use uh, free strategies, things that don't cost anything necessarily financially, um, but it takes your time, right? Like that, this, an example of that is trying to do SEO and get your websites ranked to the top of Google or, or posting articles or posting videos like this on YouTube and hoping that someone eventually comes and sees your video. Like that, that's a, sh that's a, a long-term strategy, a slower approach, but it's free and you're investing your time. And then you've got paid traffic which is more instant, you're in more control of how many visitors you're getting to your website, but you're paying for it. So you're saving time, you're putting money up front, but now you've got a bit more control, a bit more power. So really you should be utilizing both as I do in my company, but paid ads is something special. If you have that ability to just turn on an ad and generate traffic at the drop of a hat, it's very, very powerful. But the problem is because you're spending money, and this is probably the issue that you've run into, because you're actually spending your hard-earned money, it, it's, it's a very high-risk game, right? You could spend money trying to acquire some, some traffic and some visitors and, and ultimately try and get some customers, and you could spend $1,000 on Facebook ads or YouTube ads and get literally nothing, zilch, nada. No! Right, so we've got to find a way that we can uh, get somewhat of an unfair advantage. And, and one of the ways that I do that is I, I go ahead and have a look at my competition. The people around me in my industry, I find out what is already working and I can start to model that. So what I'm gonna do in today's video, I'm gonna show you three ways that I go ahead and spy on my competition, find their best performing ads, and then start to model those. But one thing I wanna uh, make clear before we go into this is that your industry, your product, your sales funnel, your sales process, everything's gonna be different. So the examples that I'm gonna show you don't necessarily take those as you need to do something like that. I'm gonna show you examples from my industry, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and research your own competition, see what they're doing and model them, right? So the first thing I wanna show you is the one that is more common. You may know this, if you don't, this will be helpful for you. It's gonna jump over here to the screen. What you're gonna to wanna to do first and foremost, go to Google, and you're gonna to wanna to search for Facebook ad library. This is a feature that Facebook uh, did bring out a little while ago now, but not everyone knows about it. So you're gonna click on that, and essentially you're gonna be, it's gonna be an archive of everyone um, who has a business page on Facebook that is running ads, and you can go ahead and spy on those people. So you can see some recent searches from me. There's just people in my industry that I'm, I'm, most of them I'm friends with, and just checking out what they've got going on on the ad side of things. So let's say we go in here and we just do a search for um, I don't know, let's do a search for Russell Brunson, perhaps. I'm not actually sure if he's got any ads running at the minute. But we click on Russell Brunson, and here we go. We get to see all the ads that he is currently running. We can search for, make sure this is ticked, by the way. Make sure that all ads is ticked. Um, you can filter by country. All right, I like to change it to all so we can see everything. And what's really neat about this is you're, you're actually seeing when this ad started running. So you see this one here? It says started running on February 17th, 2020. Well, today's date, 
as a time of recording this, 19th of February. So two days ago, they started running that. So we're not gonna get a huge amount of insight on how well that's performing. We can see the networks that it's running on, Facebook, Instagram, audience network, and Messenger. We can see the copy, the image, and we can even go ahead and click on the learn more button and actually see what page that ad uh, runs to and what page it goes to, right? But here's where, where it gets cool. We can scroll down and go further and further and further into the selection of ads he's got running and we'll actually start to see um, the, the, uh, the, well, we start to, see, it goes down in date, right? So I'm gonna start to see, let's actually scroll down quite a bit. I'm gonna start to find ones that have been on, running and active for a while. So you see this one here, February 3rd. I know that Russell's team's going pretty aggressive at the minute, so they've got tons of ads starting. But if I just scroll back just a little bit here, let's just keep going. Man, they've got a monstrous amount of ads going. Um, so let's just, let's just do this one here, for example. December 21st, 2019. This one is still running, right? It's still active, we can see that here. So what I'm learning from that is I'm thinking, okay, so this ad here, if it wasn't performing and it wasn't doing well, they would not continue to uh, run this ad and advertise with this ad. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and have a look at the, the copy. What do I think's working about the copy? What's working about the, the headline? I can see that they've got the exact same headline here, here, and here on, on a multiple different ads. So that headline they've probably tested um, uh, you know, quite a lot and they're getting some great results with it. So I'm gonna kind of learn something from that headline. I'm gonna use Russell Brunson's own approach, right? Of funnel hacking. In this case, I'm headline hacking. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take ideas from that. I'm not gonna copy it, I'm gonna model it, right? So this is why the Facebook ad library is really helpful. Uh, because we can see the date and we can see if it's still active and we can learn from that. Uh, one thing to mention is you're not gonna see the engagement on the ad. So if it, had, if it has likes and comments and shares, you won't see that. So if you don't see them here, don't take that as no one's engaged with it. It just means that uh, Facebook's not showing you that, all right? <clears throat> so that's the first thing, Facebook ad library. You should dive straight into that. You should go find your top uh, competitors, find the name of the business page that they're running their ads from, and then come in here and start spying on them and seeing what they've got going on, all right? So that's the first way. The second way that we can spy on ads is by actually just going to your own timeline on Facebook. And so you just go ahead and scroll down and see the ads that you're being hit with. So there's a, an ad here from someone called Tanner. Um, and I can go ahead and save this ad if I like the, the sound of it, if, if it's got a good headline or, or if I particularly knew that this guy Tanner was successful when running ads, then what I can do is I can hit these three dots up here and I can save that link and I can even add to a collection and I can put it in a folder. I've got tons of folders. I've got a folder for uh, short video ads. I've got a folder for long video ads. I've got a folder for short ad copy and longer ad copy. So I can go back and whenever I am running a new ad and I'm looking for inspiration for an ad that I wanna run on Facebook, I can just go ahead and have a look in this archive of ads that I've saved and start to spark some creativity. So rather than trying to plan an ad and, and, and trying to write it out from a blank slate, I can go ahead and inspire myself by looking through my archive of saved ads, all right? What's gonna make this more effective is as you're scrolling, finding an ad that, um, so like here's another one here from, from a buddy of mine, Alex, but there's not a great amount of engagement on it yet, which shows me that it's just, it hasn't particularly taken off yet. Not doesn't mean it's a bad ad, it just hasn't, it hasn't had enough proof of concept for me to know if it's working yet. Same with this one here. I'm hoping that we can get an example of one that uh, that is. No, that one's not either. Uh, if we don't find one soon, I'll just tell you what I'm thinking. Another one here. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm thinking. So if I came across an ad and I saw it had tons of likes, tons of comments, tons of shares, at that point, or if it's a video ad and it says it's got hundreds of thousands of views or even millions of views, at that point I'm gonna go flip. That's obviously doing well because they wouldn't have continued to run it for that long. So I would save that ad down in my archive, right? So that's the second way. The third way, and this is one that I find really interesting because hardly anyone knows about this and no one really uses it, um, and I'm heavily utilizing it, is spying on, on ads on YouTube, right? So spying on those video ads that pop up. How do we do this? You know, there's no, there's no tool available at the time of recording this to just go ahead and search through ads. YouTube doesn't give you that, that information readily uh, available. So what we do instead is we go to YouTube and as you can see on the front page, you can see the type of videos that I'm into. I like Impractical Jokers. If you haven't seen these guys, they're absolutely hilarious. I can binge watch, watch those for hours. Um, but anyway, so we go in here and I'm gonna search for a very, very broad term for my industry. You can do the same. So if you're in, in the weight loss industry, you'd literally just type in weight loss. 
I teach Facebook ads in one of our courses, so I might just type in um, Facebook ads. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and find one of the most popular videos. In fact, this one here from my, from my buddy, I feel terrible, my buddy Kevin David. I, 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 I already advertise on top of this one. Um, because it does very well for us. So he's got 2.3 million views on this video, right? So I'm gonna find a big video, and you've got to do the same. You, in your industry, you've got to find one that has tons of views that advertisers are likely advertising on top of. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, and you're gonna see an ad pop up. And look who it is, it's yours truly. I told you that I advertised on top of this. So you're gonna see the ad pop up on top of the video. And every time we refresh the video, we're gonna get a new ad show up. So. How funny would it be if I refresh this and it's me again? Let's take a look. Refresh it again. Yo, Aaron, how's your business? Boom! Me and Aaron again. Another ad. Let's refresh it. Let's see how long we can keep this train going. Let's do it again. Is it me again? So in the next me again, days, dude. I am, I'm owning this video. Let's go again. So I realized that me what again. Say, let's refresh it again, dude. Okay, listen, it's I me again! Look, at, look, a different video platform. every time, man. I'm just taking over the platform. You ah, you, you rotten boy. All right, I lost my, <laughs> I lost my place. Who is this guy? I need to outspend him. Anyway, so you can see I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm living this game. I'm playing this game. But anyway, so now this is actually helpful. I've come across someone I've never seen before, never heard of him before. So what I want to do at this point once you've got past seeing all your own ads and, and, and whatever else, then you're gonna right click. You're gonna right click on the video and you're gonna click on stats for nerds. And when you click on that, up here, the only one you care about is this one here, it says video ID. And this first block here, that is the ID of the video itself, the actual ad that is running, right? If you look at his ad right now, you can't see how many views it's got because the views down here is uh, subject to Kevin's video, not the ad. So you don't see the views, you don't see the engagement, you don't know how well that ad is actually performing. It might be day one of this person advertising the video. So how do we know if it's performing well? Well, here's how we do it. We go ahead and get our fingers ready on Command C, because you have to act quick, because it disappears quite quickly. So you're gonna hover over, whoopsie, I, I just screwed it up. Let me, try, let, me, let me try that again. Oh man, see, I'm a pro at some things, not at this. It's Command C, come on baby, let's go. Get that, bam, got it, all right. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and just open up some other random video. So let's click on this little, this little, uh, this little guy here. The reason why I'm doing that is I just, I, I just wanna have the, the thing in the address bar here. So everything after the equals sign is the video ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything else. And now I'm gonna paste, Command V, the ID that I just grabbed from the ad. And I'm gonna enter, and that's gonna take me to that guy's going to take me to that guy's video ad, but now this is the actual page that that video ad is hosted on. So I can see now the stats. Now don't, don't worry about likes, don't worry about comments because no one sees the, this page, so no one would have interacted anyway. All I'm looking at is the views, all right? So what I'm looking at is I'm, I want to know if this video has hundreds of thousands of views or millions of views. If it does, that's a very good sign that the video is doing well. If you look at the stats for the ad and it's only got 10,000 views, then uh, that's not very impressive. That, that could still be the first week of that ad running and, and there's no reliable data yet. But once they start getting into hundreds of thousands of views or uh, millions of views, that's when you can go, okay, this, they're continuing to spend to promote this video, it must be doing well. So what I like to do is I like to archive it and what you'll find is I've even got a folder here, already you can see it, YouTube ads, and I save it down. But what I do is I save down, um, YouTube ad, um, the, the topic, so grow your business. And then here's, the, here's the, the main thing. Then I put down how many views it's got right now. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna bookmark it. I'm not actually gonna save this one because I don't really care about this one too much. But I would save it, and now one month later, or whatever time period uh, you know suits you, you come back and you come and check the video again and if it's still at 233,000 views, and I'm gonna go, mm, they're, not, they're not continuing to really promote this because the views haven't gone up. If I come back in a month and that view count is at 500,000 or a million, now I'm being told with reliable data they are continuing to promote that video, it must be doing well. So then I'm gonna go ahead and dissect the video, learn from it, uh, and potentially kind of do a remodeled version myself. Make sense? So that is how you do it on YouTube. That's like a really super sneaky uh, thing that you can do and you can start to build up a real archive in your bookmarks of all these uh, YouTube ads that you're coming across and you can come back and, and check those out at a later date, see what's working.
So if you like that extra little sneaky trick there, go ahead and leave a comment below and say, what should I say, sneaky. Type sneaky in the comments box if you like my little sneaky YouTube ad trick. But with that, listen, I hope that was helpful for you. It, that there's something very powerful about spying on, on what your competition are doing and, and starting to formulate some ideas for your own ads based on what is proven. So I really hope this was helpful for you. If this video was helpful, do me a favor, go ahead and hit the like button on this video. It's the only way that I know that you're enjoying these videos and encourages me to make more of them. So go ahead, hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought about this video. And if you'd like more help from myself on this topic of running ads, uh, we have a YouTube ads training and we have a Facebook ads training. Uh, we have literally run millions of dollars in ad spend uh, very, very uh, effectively and very profitably. We'd love to teach you some of that stuff. You can go check out those trainings in the description box in the top comment. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're coming out with tons of new content just like this. You do not want to miss out. So I'll see you in the subscriber area and subscriber lounge. Is there a subscriber lounge? There's no subscriber lounge, but you'll get nice valuable content. All right, bye.